The Breda BA-65 was an Italian ground attack aircraft that first saw action during the Spanish Civil War. It was built in both single and two-seat configurations and was exported to various nations prior to the outbreak of the Second World War, but only saw large-scale combat operations with the Regia Aeronautica in Northern Africa. Welcome to another plain encyclopedia voiced article. I'm your host, Tony, and today I'll be covering the BA-65. If you like what we do, remember to subscribe so you don't miss a single video. During the 1930s, the Italian aircraft manufacturer, Breda, began working on developing several different ground attack plane designs based on the theoretical principles set by World War I veteran fighter ace Colonel Amadeo Mecozzi. According to Colonel Mecozzi, the best use of aerial forces was the quick neutralization of military targets deep into enemy territory by using fast and very agile aircraft. Per his request, the major Italian aircraft manufacturers were to present their aircraft proposals for future use by the Italian Air Force, Regia Aeronautica. In the early 30s, Breda built a prototype of a ground attack plane named BA-64, an all-metal low-wing aircraft powered by a single 700-horsepower Bristol Pegasus radial engine, licensed built by Alfa Romeo. Only 27 aircraft were reported in the Italian Air Force which was used for second-line duties only. A new improved design was built under the designation BA-65 as a multi-role aircraft. The prototype made its first flights in September 1935, piloted by Ambrogio Colombo. After a series of test flights, the prototype was handed over to the Air Force for further trials on the 27th of October. The BA-65 prototype made a flight from Milan to Rome, where it was to be handed over to the military with an average speed of 412 km per hour. During its evaluation, a doctrinal problem emerged. Neither the Air Force command staff nor Mekotsi precisely specified what kind of performance specifications of a ground attack aircraft should achieve. In order to solve this dilemma, the Air Force requested that the BA-65 be flight tested with the results to be compared with those of the Fiat CR-32 biplane. The performance tests were held at the Guidonia Experimental Center near Rome. While the CR-32 biplane proved to have better handling, the BA-65 was faster. Immediately after the introduction to the Air Force, the BA-65 proved to be a problematic design. From the beginning, pilots had significant problems learning how to control it, which resulted in several accidents, many fatal. Due to these accidents, the BA-65 gained a bad reputation with Italian pilots. The main causes of the BA-65's difficulties mostly lie with poor pilot training, insufficient preparation, poor organization, and lack of adherence to regulations. The BA-65 was designed as a low-wing single-engine mixed-construction multi-role aircraft, including light bomber, attack aircraft, reconnaissance, and interceptor. The BA-65's fuselage was constructed of welded chrome molybdenum steel tubes. The front fuselage and cockpit area were covered with sheet metal panels. The remaining fuselage was covered with fabric. The wings were built using chrome molybdenum steel tube spars, which were additionally connected with diagonal steel tubes. The leading edge of the wings consisted of duralumin sheets while the rear part was fabric covered. The tail consisted of two parts, the cantilever fin, and the strut braced tailplane. The BA-65 had retractable landing gear. It consisted of two larger front wheels, both of which retracted to the rear underwing fairings. The landing gear system could be operated hydraulically or mechanically if needed. The smaller rear tail wheel was fixed. The cockpit was well placed with ample forward visibility. It was protected by a large fully glazed canopy that could be opened to the rear. The canopy did see a number of design changes during the BA-65 service life. In the two-seats version, the rear position housed the gunner observer. The rear position would also undergo many design changes during the BA-65's operational service life, from being protected by a fully enclosed turret to being open and later even removed in the hopes of reducing weight. The engine used on the prototype and the first series of 81 planes was the 870 horsepower Isotta Fraschini K1414 cylinder engine. There are differences in the engine strength depending on the sources, with some indicating 700 horsepower, 870 horsepower, or even 900 horsepower. 
Later, it was replaced with the stronger 1,000 horsepower Fiat A80 RC41 18-cylinder engine. The aircraft fuel was held in two tanks located behind the pilot, with a total capacity of 650 liter. An additional fuel tank could be added in the bomb bay with a capacity of 370 liter. With the standard fuel tanks, the BA-65 had a flight endurance of 3 hours and 25 minutes. With the additional fuel tank, flight time increased to 5 hours. The main fuel tank was equipped with a SEMAPE self-sealing system. The main armament consisted of two 12.7mm Breda Safat heavy machine guns and two 7.7mm Breda Safat machine guns. The machine guns were placed in the central parts of the wings. For the two-seat version, one additional 7.7mm machine gun was placed in a ring-mounted turret. During development, there were several different rear turret designs, either partially or fully enclosed. There is some disagreement in the sources about the designation of these turrets. Gabrielu G named the fully enclosed version as Type M and the partially enclosed one as Type L. Author David M mentions the enclosed turret as Type L. The standard ammunition load was 350 rounds for the heavier machine guns and 500 for the smaller caliber machine guns. According to some sources, the Type L turret was armed with one 12.7mm heavy machine gun. The interior bomb bay could be equipped with either four 50 kg or two 100 kg bombs placed vertically. Another optional loadout consisted of a container with 168 smaller 2 kg bombs. Additionally, 200 kg of bombs could be carried on the bomb racks located under the wings, but these were not always used. The theoretical maximum bomb load was 2,200 pounds, but due to the plane's excessive weight and the poor engine performance, this loadout was never used operationally nor in combat. Due to its poor performance, the Italian Air Force formed a commission with the aim of determining if the BA-65 could be modified or improved to justify its continued production. The commission was made up of five Air Force officers and was led by engineer Parano. After a short analysis, the commission noted that the BA-65's two-seat configuration was too heavy. This, combined with an underpowered engine, were the main reasons for the BA-65's poor flight performance. The commission made several modification suggestions that would be implemented in the second BA-65 production series. The previous K-14 engine was replaced with a stronger Fiat A-80 engine. This resulted in an increase in the overall performance during climbing, takeoff, and cruising at top speed. The two engines had different cowling designs. The K-14 had 28 smaller cylinder covers, and the A-80 had 18 longer cylinder covers. The new improved version is often designated simply as BA-65A-80, but in some sources, it is also called BA-65BIS. The BA-65 was also tested with the Piaggio P9 engine, which was some 100 kg lighter than the K-14. The overall flight performance was improved, but due to the high cost, the proposal that all aircraft should be equipped with this engine was rejected. Other improvements were made to the A-80 version. The rear machine gun mount was replaced with a new ring-mounted machine gun turret. The landing gear was redesigned and improved. To solve the problem with the overloaded wings, two handle page slats were installed at the wing's leading edges, which also improved the flight performance. Despite these modifications, the newly produced BA-65 was criticized by pilots who were unhappy with its flying performance. There were also a number of accidents that forced the Air Force to issue special orders in October 1938, according to which it was forbidden to fly unnecessary aerobatics unless it was approved or for training purposes. By April 1939, the Italian Air Force Command, in the hope of finally solving the problems with weight and flight performance, ordered the removal of the rear machine gun position and equipment. In July, additional orders extended this modification to the older BA-65 K-14 versions. Despite these modifications, the BA-65 never achieved the potential the Air Force High Command hoped for, and the Italians entered the Second World War without a dedicated ground attack aircraft. Small numbers of BA-65 together with BA-64 and AP-1 planes were used for a short time as trainers at the Foggia Flying School. As the concept of ground assault was abandoned by the Regia Aeronautica in November 1939, all remaining Breda aircraft at the school were scrapped.
In Italian military service, the BA-65 saw action in small numbers during the Spanish Civil War, while the only other major engagement was in North Africa. Allegedly, according to author J.W. Thompson, it was also used during the Axis forces' attack on the Kingdom of Yugoslavia in April 1941, but this is unlikely as there is no proof to corroborate this. In June 1936, the BA-65 prototype was allocated to the 160A Squadrilla Squadron, stationed near Ciampino for operational use. After the flight testing at Furbara, the first production aircraft was allocated to 167A Squadrilla. At this time, the Italian Air Force began reforming the Assalto attack units into the 5A Brigata area, which consisted of 5th and 50th Stormo, commanded by Colonel Mekotsi himself. At the time of formation, the 5A Brigata area was equipped with the older Caproni AP-1 and BA-64s. Due to the slow production of the BA-65, by 1937 only 20 were available for operational service. In 1938, the newer and improved BA-65 A-80 version was ready for service. Immediately after sufficient numbers of the A-80 were produced, the 5th and 50th Stormo were equipped with them, and the older K-14 versions were given to the 2nd Fighter Stormo. In May 1938, during Adolf Hitler's visit to Italy, a life-straving exercise was organized at the Furbara airfield with 18 B-65 and 7 AP-1 aircraft. During this exercise, a single BA-65 piloted by Lt. Col. Safarino was flight tested with a payload of over 1,000 kilograms. After his first test flight, the pilot noted that it was nearly impossible to fly the fully loaded BA-65. In a second test, the load was reduced to 900 kilograms. This time, the flight was more successful, but the aircraft was still reported as uneasy and unpleasant to fly. During 1938, there were many flight accidents in which eight pilots lost their lives. This forced the Air Force to ground all BA-65 from October 1938 to January 1939. Because of this decision, the training of all pilots in the ground attack role was reduced, which affected combat readiness. At this time, the order for a further 33 aircraft was put on hold until a final decision was made about the fate of this unit and the type of aircraft with which they should be equipped. The introduction of the new Breda BA-88 persuaded the Italian Air Force Command to replace the BA-65 with this aircraft. The 5th Stormo was re-equipped with the BA-88, while 50th Stormo still operated BA-65 aircraft in a limited role by early 1939. During the Spanish Civil War, Italy and Germany actively supported Francisco Franco's fascist forces by sending significant military support which consisted of military equipment like small arms, tanks, aircraft, troops, engineers, and trainers. This war would be used as a testing ground for many new military aviation designs, including the BA-65. In April 1937, the first group of 13 single-seat BA-65 K-14 arrived in Seville. They were attached to the 65A Squadrilla, Aviazione Legionaria, under the command of Captain Desiderio. This unit was later relocated to Tudela in order to help fascist forces during the Battle of Teruel in late December 1937. During this battle, the 65A Squadron, under the leadership of Captain Fanali, performed large aggressive sorties against Republican forces. The 65A Squadron was also very active during the Republican Ebro Offensive in July 1938. The BA-65s were used during the capture of Barcelona in late January 1939. As the Spanish Civil War ended, the BA-65 crews were sent by ship to Italy with the remaining 11 aircraft given to the new fascist Spanish state. During the war, Italy sent around 23 BA-65 aircraft, of which half were lost. Only three BA-65 aircraft were destroyed by enemy action. It performed poorly in the role of interceptor due to its inadequate handling and slow climb rate. The only real success was achieved in the fighter-bomber role. Prior to the beginning of the war in Africa against the British, the 50th Stormo was plagued by a general lack of adequate training, poor organization, and bad mechanical condition of the BA-65 aircraft. By June 1940, the Italians had around 160 BA-65 aircraft, but only 11 were actually fully operational and could be used for frontline service. 
the 50th Stormo was moved to Benghazi in Libya. Once there, mechanical problems cropped up as the A-80 proved to be prone to overheating and the desert sand caused significant issues for the engines. In Libya, a series of accidents forced Air Marshal Balbo to order the BA-65 removed from operational frontline service. All BA-65 were dismantled and were to be sent to Italy, with assault units to be equipped with any available aircraft capable of assault sorties. The only planes fit the role were the Caproni CA-310, a twin-engine bomber trainer aircraft which was far from ideal, and the older Fiat CR-32 biplane. The 50th Stormo, with no BA-65, was relocated to Sorman Airfield near Tripoli in order to provide support to the ground forces during the attack on Tunisia. Due to the rapid British advance, this unit was moved to the T-2 military airfield near Tobruk. The CA-310B proved to be inadequate for the task, and after only two bombing attacks on the British armored columns in June, they were removed from this unit. Due to this, the Italian Air Force commander in North Africa, General Poro, was forced to order the return of all available BA-65 planes to operational service. They were to be relocated from Benghazi to the T-2 airfield as soon as possible. Besides the 50th Stormo, the BA-65 would be supplied to 12th and 16th Gruppo group. The 12th Gruppo saw heavy action and high attrition rate, and by the end of June, only 5 Breda BA-65 and 5 Fiat CR-32 were operational. In July, the 16th Gruppo arrived at T-2 airfield equipped with the CR-32 and a few older BA-65 K-14 collected from Italy. These units achieved great success when attacking the British forces near Sidi Reza, 25th to 27th of July 1940, inflicting heavy damage. In August, six BA-65 A-80 attacked a British supply depot but were intercepted by British gladiators. The engagement ended with three lost gladiators, but the Italian losses are unknown. During General Graziani's short offensive action towards Sidi Barani in September, all BA-65 equipped units were active. By the end of the Italian offensive, only 10 BA-65 and 18 CR-32 were still operational. On 18th of October, a formation of 6 BA-65 and 7 CR-32 managed to attack a British airfield far behind the front line in Egypt at Siwa Oasis. This air raid was repeated on 7th November 1940 with 6 BA-65 and 18 CR-32. Bombing actions continued throughout November. By the end of the month, the 12th Gruppo was sent to the rear for rest and aircraft overhauls. At the same time, the British launched Operation Compass, which eventually led the attacking Italian army to collapse. In early December, Britain's 7th Armored Division under the command of General O'Connor managed to break the Italian line of defense and began racing to the west. The 50th Stormo, along with all its planes, was dispatched to stop British armored attacks. This attempt failed and the unit lost all of its aircraft. The same fate was met by the 16th Gruppo, which was evacuated to Italy on 2nd of January 1941 without any operational aircraft. The 12th Gruppo lost most of its aircraft in January and by the 14th of February, it also was relocated to Italy. With its departure, the BA-65's combat surface ended. After World War I, Italy became known around the world for the production and export of aircraft, especially during the 30s. This was mostly achieved due to a successful commercial strategy in the international aviation market. Despite the BA-65 being an unsuccessful design, several countries showed interest in buying this type of aircraft, but their use was very limited. This include Iraq, China, Portugal, and Chile. Italians also presented the BA-65 to the Kingdom of Yugoslavia, but nothing came of this. This concludes our look at the BA-65. If you like what we do and want to see more, remember to subscribe so you don't miss a single video. Also, don't forget to take a look at our extensive collection of articles on our website, plain-encyclopedia.com. Thank you.